Today's topic is Pratham, which is perhaps the most leading educational NGO in India. Hello, everyone. Good to be with you once again. Today, I have with me Kumar Shah, ex-IIT, ex-Finance World in Wall Street, and then for several years or many years, I don't know how many, on the board of directors of Pratham. So he will tell us what makes Pratham Pratham. Kumar, over to you. Thank you. Uh, just a small correction. I was on the board of Pratham USA, New York City, and uh, then I decided I'd create space for some new people who wanted to join the board. Okay. Anyway, the reason the reason that I've been a fervent Pratham supporter for going on 15 years is because as a finance numbers guy, I can think of no better ROI on my scant charity dollars than, than Pratham. So here's what Pratham does. Uh, five or six major things that it does. One, it runs a remedial uh, training program in the summers in the villages of India. Some four or 500,000 children for less than $10 over a 60 day period. And these are children who volunteer. These are children who are reading at below second grade level in fifth and sixth grades. Using the uh, teaching at the right level, which is a Pratham buzzword about how we are teaching methods. We get 60, 70% of these kids up to grade level in basic reading, writing, and arithmetic, wow. meaning at the fifth and sixth grade level. Yeah, that's great. And I, I can think of no better use of a $10 than getting a kid to read. And Pratham strongly believes that when you have a kid in fifth or sixth grade who's reading at the second grade level, he's sitting in school, basically there for the free school lunch or whatever. He's not learning anything. No. And he's going to spend the next five years not learning anything. He's going to get finished up high school, not, not ready for a job or for anything else. Mm. This is where I think there is a big intervention possibility. And uh, something else that they do. Uh, and they reach six to eight million children every year in India, either through the preschool and after school programs that they run, staffed by Pratham teachers, or by having a Pratham teacher attached to a public school in states where the state has agreed to have us there. And, uh, you know, I, I visited a school like this in New Delhi, went to the Pratham classroom, met the Pratham teacher. This is a Pratham employee paid by Pratham. Kids come for one class during the day to the Pratham classroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, he or she uses the kind of teaching methods that our children in America learned. When you okay. have a bunch of kids sitting down with cards with letters on them and they're spread out and you're trying to make, make words out of these letters and the kids are competing with each other and playing instead of the rote learning on a, on a blackboard. More than anything else, what this teacher is doing is not just teaching the children, but teaching the other teachers in school. I see. These teaching, these teaching methods, which has a big, big impact. Mm -hmm. Another thing that Pratham does, and, and Pratham reaches, as I said, something like five, six million children yeah. every year on this. Yeah. Pratham runs a training program for young adults. Mm -hmm. uh, it's free. They come and take four, six months. They get trained in, we have training centers. We feed them, we house them, we, we educate them. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, subjects like hospitality, construction, automotive, beauty, electrical, tailoring, mm -hmm. healthcare. We trained 55,000 young adults last year. We placed 27,000 of them in jobs. Oh, okay. Give you an example. We run a training center in Aurangabad for hospitality. Mm -hmm. We've teamed up with Tata Hotels, which is a leading hotel chain in India. Mm -hmm. 
They have helped us devise the program. They even send some of their staff to be instructors. Uh, this is teaching someone, what does it take to be a front desk clerk? What does it take to be a telephone operator in a hotel uh, or to run a laundry room? Uh, and of course, we have a waiting list a mile long about hotels who want to hire our graduates. Of course. When you, when you take a 17, 18 year old who's never even left his village, who's never seen a hotel, who doesn't even know what a hotel is, he's not ready for any job. No. We prepare him to be put him on the first rung what we hope will be a good career. Okay. Uh, we run a second chance program. You know, many young girls in India drop out of school because the mother needs her at home to cook, mind the kids, whatever. We run this thing called the second chance program for girls to get them their high school diploma, a combination of in-classroom instruction and, uh, and uh, distance learning. Uh, last year, 4,300 of them enrolled, 92% of them passed the high school mm -hmm. exams. Uh, Pratham does every year something called ISER, which is the yes. Annual Survey and Education Report. Right. First of its kind in the world to do that. True. They marshal. 25,000 volunteers who go and visit some 15,000 schools in India, interview 400, 500,000 fourth, fifth, sixth graders. Yeah. And it's a fairly simple test. Hold up a card, it's got a letter on it. Kid can read the letter, you flip the card, there's a word on it. He can read the word, you get another card, it's got a sentence on it. He can read that, you flip it, and there is a paragraph written in fifth grade level. 50% of the kids in public schools in India are flunking this four card test. And there's a similar test for arithmetic. These are the kids that we work on in our summer program, 60 days. We get more than half of them up to grade level. Uh, Pratham has been awarded all kinds of things by every major organization in the world. Uh, we have a rating of four star or higher from Charity Navigator, uh, which puts us in the top 5% of the charities in America. Uh, some 90, 90, 95% of the funds we raise go to education for children as opposed to for administration. Gotham is a large organization, has an annual budget in the neighborhood of $25 million some 60% of that coming from individuals and corporations in the US uh, has 5,000-ish employees in India. Uh, COVID was a big challenge for Pratham, but it has come through fairly well. Did a lot of work on distance learning there. And of course, now we are getting back up to speed. Uh, I want to talk about a visit I did in Delhi uh, with a Pratham volunteer who took me. We drove to a neighborhood in Delhi that I would normally not ever visit. Uh, tenements, uh, the kind of neighborhood where a rickshaw driver, taxi driver, later in a restaurant or a household worker may live. Climbed up two flights of steps, going up the second flight, I saw hundreds of little shoes and slippers lined up on the steps as they're getting up. They get up there and uh, Pratham was running the center, which consisted of four small classrooms, each staffed by a Pratham teacher. Children, mostly school age, some preschool, and this is a before school, after school program. They come there, they learn using this teaching at the right level method, uh, with a Pratham teacher who's teaching them, you know, language, arithmetic, reading, writing, and some other minor stuff. Uh, and I, I, I talked to you about the classroom at the Delhi public school that I visited staffed by a Pratham teacher. Yeah. Uh, these are the kind of things that I, I can't think of a 
of a better better use of as i said of whatever i have to give uh, so no, I think Pratap right. does a great job. There's no question. I mean, I'm not asking you, I'm asking you what makes Pratham Pratham and you've told us. And there's no debate about that Pratham is great. There's absolutely no issue about it. Whatever they have evolved is what we wanted to hear from you. How do they do it? What do they do? What makes, as I said, what makes Pratham Pratham? And Pratham means first and undoubtedly they are the first. And in a way, they reflect the failure of the government school education system, which doesn't do any of these things that they have to come and give a second chance. They have to do preschool, after school and all. And we would, there wouldn't be such a great need if the government schools were actually doing the job. But that's a topic for another uh, video or opinions and so on. So it's really good to know that, you know, Pratham, uh, the staff, I guess they are young. Have you met many of them? They're young and motivated. They are they are young, they are passionate, they are motivated. Yeah. They are the kind of they are the kind of young people that you say, you know, this is the kind of children I want to have. Okay. Uh, I, I mean they are they are incredible. Something mm -hmm. else I should mention. Yeah. Pratham has been Pratham has Pratham, as I said, there are two big things are the annual survey of education. Yeah, SR, that that is and yeah. And teaching at the right level. Right. Both these programs have been adopted by 13, 15 countries in Africa, a few countries in South Asia, including actually even Mexico is looking at Asia. Uh, and they asked Pratham's help to say, please help us, you know, put this program in place in our country. And Pratham has often sent, uh, you know, a few people to, to teach them how we do it. Yeah, I read Acer, Pratham Kumar. I read Acer, so I know <laughs> its value that it tells it like it is. You know, there's just no way around it, and you know, nobody can dispute what is going on in Acer because, uh, you know, they, there's no arguments that this is biased or this or that. They are telling you the way it is, and actually, uh, the last one I read said that the number of children in private schools is now more than the number of children in government schools that the parents just will sacrifice anything for their kids' education. You know, they'll pay the fee and they'll put them in a private school because they just don't trust the government schools at all. And this is in the big cities with the slums and so on. You know, they, the parents know that, look, uh, our lives don't matter. It's the children's lives that matter. And so they sacrifice. And I've seen at the personal level what those parents are doing, they are cutting their own expenses. And right. I, I'd asked one driver one day where we were going that, look, have you seen this movie, right? Very popular movie. And he says, no, my wife says, listen, forget movies. You watch TV at home. We can't <laughs> afford. I said, then what are you doing with the money? He says, I'm getting tuition for my daughter. <laughs> I, I'm getting to it. My wife says, forget movies, you watch TV because we just don't do, do any. Well, the Pratham is there to look after those kids. You know, that's really the point that Pratham is there. So that's great. I'm really glad that you told us all the programs that uh, Pratham has done. Now, when you say these workers of Pratham, uh, they are motivated, passionate. What is their education and what do where do they come from? Do you know? I I, uh, I can only speak to the three or four people that I've gotten to know a little yeah. bit. Uh, they are typically in their late 20s, early 30s, extremely well-educated, well-spoken, uh, could, could get a job at a fancy investment bank if they wanted. But this is what they choose to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and Pratham's organization, you know, it's headed up by Rukmini Banerjee and uh, Madhav Chavan. Madhav Chavan founded it. He's still very actively involved in it. Rukmini is the uh, is heads it in India. Right. She has formed an organization where it attracts these kind of people, the kind of kids who would have gone, you know, uh, in America, the kind of kids who'd go for a Teach for America program. Right. Or uh, those are the kind of young, passionate people it seems to attract okay fantastic uh, any final words you have for young people in india who might be watching this 
Uh, interestingly, Pratham is better known in the U.S., at least in my circles, ah. than in than in India. Uh -huh. And it is it is something that I think young people in India should take pride in, and perhaps find a way to get involved. You know, you can just Google and find the Pratham India website. Uh, there is a volunteer tab. Go, go do something. Uh, you know, when you get to my age, about all I'm really doing is writing a check. But uh, but when you're younger, there, there are things you can do that can really help. Go work for Pratham. Take a year off from whatever you're doing and go work for them. It would be a it would be a tremendous plus. Okay, well, thank you, Kumar. I think you have given a clear message. I'm shocked to hear that more people know about Pratham in the USA than in India. But that was not my impression, and especially you know, Acer is so widely read and so widely understood that, and you know, the second chance and all. I mean, I, you know, these things are well known in India. That look. Uh, you know, we would be nowhere if with just the government schools, because this is clear. The flip side of this coin is the failure of the governments to do what they should be doing. Why are the kids at second grade level when they are in fifth grade? You know, it's because uh, the, to that point, Pratham works for perhaps half the states in India. Yeah. In terms of providing teachers to work yeah. in public schools, etc. Yeah. But half the states don't yeah and it's not as if, it's not as if we charge anything you know no 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 the, the, yeah the thing is the bloody chief ministers and the bureaucracy just don't want any interference in what's going on they just don't care about the kids and those are the kids states where the parents are struggling to pay the money to put their kids in private schools you know they're just okay anyway ang enough anger i'm so glad you told us all these things and I think we can just say bye to the viewers. And uh, let me say bye and say, I'm so glad Kumar agreed to come and talk to us. And next time I'll have some other person come to us and talk about something that's equally interesting and exciting. So bye, everybody. And thank you so both for having me. All right. Bye.